Uh, Cheyenne, you are in Margate, so what's happening there? I see it's windy. <laughs> Yeah, Dawn, as Drew just said, we are already feeling the impacts of this storm down here at the shore. We have a few hours until the rain starts, but as you can see, this wind is already picking up speed. So we went to go talk to some people here in Margate and see how they're getting prepared. I'm not too concerned. I've uh, been in a hurricane, earthquake, a tsunami. What's one more storm? Many people who live in Margate say they're used to storms down the shore. We have a home and then, uh, near Lucy the Elephant and we're just putting all our outdoor furniture away and getting ready for the storm. Which is exactly what the fire department is telling residents to do to prepare for heavy rain and strong winds. If you live in a low-lying area or an area that floods, it's recommended that you move your vehicle to higher ground. If you have furniture or any type of obstructions outside that may blow in the wind, make sure you secure them. Chief Adams says their main concern is the high tide that's likely to flood in areas such as Ventnor Avenue. In preparation, the department's storm truck is ready to go. This one is actually equipped for firefighting operations. We have a pump and a water tank on board. So in the event that there is high water, we can still respond to an area and, and handle an initial firefight utilizing this piece of apparatus. But Renee, who's had a place on the same street since the 60s, says she's not too worried. I've had great experiences. The streets flood often, but we haven't had a whole lot of damage, thank goodness. And the Rom family isn't letting this storm rain on their parade either. We thought about going uh, back to my parents' house in uh, Cherry Hill uh, early, but we decided just to stay until Sunday and go back when we're scheduled to go. Now the fire department wants to remind people that if the power goes out, which is very likely, as you can see by these strong winds, the Atlantic power, they're going to try to work as quickly as possible to restore the power. But if it's not safe, they'll have to wait until it is. So just keep that in mind. You may want to charge. Woo! charge some of your electronics to prepare for that and honestly you may just want to stay inside if um you're able to i just lost my fox 29 hat i just got it today guys oh back to goodness. you guys i'm here in margate all right cheyenne yeah it is windy you can see the surf kicking up thank you and you can